holding tight to this photo. He meant the world to me. Carmen Justice clings to a memory she'll never forget of Pedro. I went through a lot of rough times in the last 10 years and wherever I was or whenever I came home, he was always there for me. Sunday afternoon, Carmen, her son and their two dogs went to Crane Park in Mayaka City. They were so excited and we couldn't park by the water. We parked far away, but they, they wanted to go by the water. Pedro, her chihuahua of more than a decade, stayed right under her feet. In the far off distance, her son spotted four large dogs off their leashes and in a flash. Before we could even like pick him up or anything, the dog, I didn't even see it run towards me. It just had my dog and was shaking him. A stranger's golden tan dog had Pedro in its mouth, severing his spine and leaving him to die. Carmen's own son was bitten while trying to free Pedro. After the attack, Carmen was in shock, and she says the dog that attacked its owner and everyone else who was with them just took off and left. They didn't say or help us do anything. While Pedro was not on his leash, Carmen doubts it would have helped. I had leashes in my car, but they stayed so close to me. And I didn't see any danger. We were so far away. Animal Services is now investigating. They say the dog appears to have been involved in another attack. They've located the owner and will cite them. But Carmen says it's not enough. If it did this to my dog and it's happened before, it's going to happen again. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.